A lot of people have asked, how did we find the Aloe Darling boy? Well, he was a boy in hospital in Billa Ricky in Essex. And I used to do these interviews for my programme after every football match. Off to the ward I went with the, uh, the spindles on the tape recorder whirring round so I didn't miss anything. And I got into this conversation. Has he got a girlfriend? Yes. Yeah. Hey? And I have. You have as well? <laughs> have you? That's Andrew. Look, get, get him up here. Get him. So what's your girlfriend's name? Um, Tracy. What's your girlfriend's name? Hardy. Who? Hardy. Hide and seek? <laughs> no. <laughs> Hardy. Hardy what? Hardy where's? Hardy what? Where's? Take your rock out of your mouth like that. Where's? where's? That rock? <laughs> where, where does she live? Five. Five Kensington Place. That's in London. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> so have you, have you seen his girlfriend? Have you seen his girlfriend? No. Don't they come and see you in hospital? No. They're not allowed. What? They're not allowed. They are allowed. They're too small. Too small? Mine's too small. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> well, look, why don't you say something now? Because, no, she, see, this will go out on Sunday on the radio. Why don't you say something to her now and say, please come and see me? You say something to us. Perhaps if she's listening, she'll come and see you. Huh? Yeah? Say something to Tracy. Oh, cool. You're not shy, are you? I always have something to say. Go on, you say something to Heidi, then. Hello, darling. <laughs> 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 Hello, darling. <laughs> Hello, darling. <laughs> <laughs> no, go on, that's no good. Go on, she's got to come over and see you. Make, make her come over and see you. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how it all happened. Hello, darling. And he's, he must be in his 50s now.